Uh, I hate. Oh, just poke myself in the eye. Uh, I forgot how much I hate false lashes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Laura. I post videos once a week, mainly about makeup and sometimes about hair, fashion, lifestyle, wigs, all that good stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you get updates whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. I've got links in the description box below. So please follow me there as well. Today, I'm so excited for this video. I am going to be talking about this gorgeous wig that I bought from Eva Hair. So, um, it's, oh, I just, it's so pretty. Uh, so if you want to see my full review and first impressions, then please keep on watching. So this is the box that I received my wig in. Uh, I actually ordered two wigs, so they're like both stuffed inside that box. All right, so just a quick summary. I ordered this wig on November 25th. So it was around Black Friday. Uh, I Actually, I think it might've been that Black Friday weekend. This is the third company that I've bought a wig from. I've previously bought a wig from Trendy Wigs and a store on eBay and I've got videos that I can link in the description box below for my review on those. What I noticed about Eva Hair is they, so a company like Trendy Wigs for example is very on the ball and just always updating me about where my order was, where my package was, tracking numbers, uh, order confirmations, all that. They were very on top of it. So I guess I kind of was spoiled and maybe I expected the same thing from Eva Hair. I didn't get that. What happened was I paid for my order, it went through, and then I got, uh, so I paid through PayPal and it was sent to presumably the owner of the store, someone named He Jing Jing. And all I got was a basically a receipt from PayPal that said you sent a payment of my order total to He Jing Jing. Uh, and it told me how much, and I paid in US dollars, and it told me the exchange rate to Canadian dollars. And I was like, okay, that's super weird. Is this spam? What is this? And then I realized, oh, that's my wig, because the order total matched what was on the receipt. Anyways, about two minutes later, I got a an order confirmation from Eva Hare saying uh, my order number and that payment was accepted. So I found it a little weird that I guess because I paid through PayPal, PayPal had to send me a uh, receipt or a confirmation and then Eva Hare had to send me a confirmation, but it just seemed very disjointed and very like, what, what? So I kind of wish like either the recipient from PayPal was just Eva Hare or Eva Hare official or whatever, or something like that, like a little more obvious communication because for a split second I thought like oh is this am I getting scammed is my like account compromised something like that okay, so I got two emails from Eva hair at the same time as the order confirmation receipt whatever from PayPal I got the Eva hair order confirmation so it just had you know this is what you ordered this is how much it costs all that information and then I got another email saying that payment was accepted so that was like right when I ordered the wigs. And then I was supposed to get a tracking number and I could actually go into my account and then see, look up the UPS tracking number. For a while it was just like zeros, like they didn't have a tracking number. So I was like, okay, that's really weird. Why aren't they like at least telling me like, oh, okay, your, your package is on the way or your tracking number is here, you can whatever. Uh, nothing, which was kind of weird, and I would like check every few days and nothing. So that was a little weird. Then on December 7th, I got an email saying that my order has shipped, but there was no tracking number still. Yeah, it was just really bizarre, and I really wish that there was like a little bit more communication between, because presumably I'm guessing what happened 
why there was such a big gap. There was about almost two weeks between when I placed the order and when it was actually shipped. And I'm guessing it was, it took that long just because they probably had to make the wig from scratch again. Like I, it was Black Friday, so I'm guessing they got a lot of orders and they just had to make every order or restock or whatever, which is fun. I just wish there was a little bit more communication again. Okay, so on December the 10th, three days after the order shipped, I received it. So as far as the speed of shipping, it was really impressive. It just like it took basically two weeks for my order to get to Canada. I'm not 100% sure where Eva Hair is located. It's definitely a Chinese company or at least like a Chinese owned company, but I'm not sure where their actual offices are and where they're actually shipping from because shipping did happen really quickly. Uh, but anyways, point is they have free shipping, I think worldwide actually. So that's really cool and I commend them for that. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'll just show you guys the wig and then I'm gonna put it on and talk about it. So inside the box, I got my two wigs and then they also included two wig caps. They're the stocking kind. They're, I've got like two of them on here. And then they also have uh, eight, there's like hair everywhere. There's, um, they also included eight bobby pins, which is, and they're actually like, they're really cute and it's really cute packaging. So that's cool. I'm gonna open up the wig and just kind of talk about it. Oh boy, this is really long. I did not expect this wig to be that long. I honestly thought it was a shorter wig and I am pleasantly surprised because I actually, I wanted a longer wig. Okay, it smells a little chemically, but not awful. I originally wanted, uh, I'll just put it up on screen, this wig from Wig is Fashion and it's an absolutely stunning wig, but I'm not paying $20 for shipping. Like, come on guys. And Eva Hair has free shipping, so other wig companies can do better, I think. If you're gonna charge shipping, don't charge like a stupid amount. No tea, no shade, but come on. Like keep up with your competition, I think. So the wig, so it's a lace front wig. So we got the lace here, it looks really nice. We've got this tissue paper that the wig was wrapped around just to kind of keep it shaped. I'm just gonna put it in the bag. We've got like really, really nice bags that I can store my wig in. And then it's got three combs. So it's got two in the front and then one in the back. And then you've also got these hooks that you can adjust the size of your wig. Oh, this is so beautiful. And it feels like real hair. Oh my God. Okay, if you touch the individual strands, it does feel a little plasticky, but just kind of running my fingers through it like this. Oh my God, it's so soft. One thing, I don't know if this is all Eva hair wigs, because I noticed this with the other wig that I got too, that you can actually like see through to the cap. So just kind of be careful if you're wearing this out. Like, I mean, the, the hair is pretty thick, but if you kind of move it the wrong way, you can actually see your real hair underneath. So that's just something to keep in mind. As far as the hairline, I don't know if I mentioned this in my other video, but the hairline looks so natural because it's not, I noticed some wigs are just like a perfect circle or a perfect arch. And then the hairline looks super artificial because no one's hair just grows like, you have like kind of, like even like my hairline, you've got like dips and things like that that make it actually look more natural. Anyways, so I am going to put the wig cap on and cut the lace and I'll be right back. Um, can we talk about this for a second? How gorgeous is this wig? I still need to figure out a little bit more how to style it because it's a lace front and the lace only goes up to here and then the rest is just like wefted cap. It's a little bit bulky in the back. Actually, does the lace go back further? Oh, the lace actually, oh wow. Okay, so the lace actually goes like up to here. So it's like half the, the wig practically is lace front. So you can actually do a lot to style it. I, right now I kind of have like a center part and I tried to add a little bit of concealer to make it look like there's actually a scalp underneath. Uh, I, I glued down the front, well, okay, I glued down 
half the wig. <laughs> I glued it down on this side and not on this side. It's the cap is a bit big for me. I have a very small head, so that's just a thing to keep in mind. If you have a smaller head, it might be a little bit difficult to put it on. I had a little bit of like creasing, so oh, and I've got like a little piece over here. So, anyways, I'm gonna need to work with this wig a little bit, but yeah, I mean, if I glued it down, it would look a little bit better. Let's see if I can turn down the brightness so you can see what the hairline looks like. I'm not the greatest when it comes to putting on wigs, laying them, baby hairs, all that. So I haven't cut any baby hairs yet. And you can see what it looks like. I need a, I haven't actually brushed it out yet because I just don't want to touch the hair because it's so freaking gorgeous. But let's see, maybe if I, okay. But the hairline looks pretty good. I am not the best at trimming, but I mean, I think like if I was wearing this further back, like that looks believable. So I'm wearing it a little low and I don't have the biggest forehead, but my wig cap starts like about here. So I didn't want my dark roots to show through. So I'm just gonna show you what this wig looks like, like the length of it. So the wig is pretty long. It actually, it, it's got layers, but it comes to about just under my chest, like above my waist. Oh my God, this is such a pretty color. I'm really getting Cersei Lannister vibes from this with the curls and the color. It's just it's such a freaking gorgeous blondy, like a golden blonde color. It's super, super pretty. I have no regrets buying this. This is so gorgeous. So I think I do need to work a little bit more on styling it. Uh, you know what? I don't really love the, the middle part. But what's great about having this much lace in this lace front is I can part it however I want. Like I can do a side part if I want to. And I can really, you know, and it looks like I would have to add the scalp, but it looks, you know, good. And it's, it's pretty, like the hair is very flexible. It's not like glued in place or anything. So I can really move it around and play with it a lot. Uh, do I have anything to say about it otherwise? Um, it's a little shiny looking on camera. In person, it's really, it's not that shiny. Like it's no shinier than when you wash your hair and you put like, you know, product in it and style it. I wouldn't say it's much shinier than that. The only thing is like, maybe this is just because it's fresh out of the box, but the way the hair on the side just kind of goes like, straight back and then falls down is like a little weird and I think that's why it feels a little unnatural looking. So I'm just kind of moving it through so yeah I can kind of figure this out a bit more. But the hair is super super thick but not in an uncomfortable way. The lace is a little bit itchy around the sides but I think that would go away after a while. Like I think I get used to that. I feel like all this look needs is like a little crown on top or something. Like it's just so regal looking and so fabulous. Overall, I really, really love this wig. Definitely can play with it a bit more, but I am loving it and I can't wait to uh, do more looks with it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you think of this wig. Personally, this might be one of my favorite ones. I'm also going to be probably posting pictures on Instagram and Twitter, so don't forget to follow me there and check those out. Links are in the description box, and I'll see you in my next video.